There are five essential elements in the PYP. The first is the knowledge of the PYP, and these are the things that we want students to understand. These are the enduring understandings. And to help us do this, we have subjects, and we also have transdisciplinary themes, and under that forms all of our knowledge. The second element are the concepts, and we have eight key concepts that drive the curriculum. And we really see these as the drivers of the curriculum. They help form the questions that we're going to ask students, and the concepts give it the depth of knowledge. So instead of just understanding that something, uh, the facts about something, it gives us perspective and responsibility, many aspects to it. So there's knowledge, concepts. The third essential element are skills. And we have five broad categories of skills. These are the things we want students to do, and we specifically teach these skills in the PYP. The next essential element are the attitudes and attributes. These are the qualities and values that we want students to display while they're doing their learning. Um, and the fifth element is very important, it's action. So in the PYP, we want students learning to really drive action. And we see action not as something that students are doing maybe outside the classroom, it could be that, but even changing and thinking we do consider as action. So we're looking for small changes that students make um, inside their home, inside the school, or in their community, and we record those kinds of actions. We put the five elements into practice by creating units of inquiry, and students have six units of inquiry throughout the year. And in a unit of inquiry, you'll clearly see all the five essential elements. So you'll see the knowledge, the things that the students are understanding. You'll see skills, what they're doing. They'll be displaying particular attitudes and attributes. The concepts will drive the questions that not only the teacher asks, but also the student. And you'll see clear actions coming out of that unit of inquiry. Also, we're looking at ways to expand how we integrate it. So for example, in the library, we've started uh, through Destiny, our library search engine, we have started tagging books with elements, uh, the essential elements of the PYP. So for example, if I'm a student and I want to know more about the transdisciplinary theme, who we are, I can type in who we are and I'll get a list of books related to that transdisciplinary theme. Parents can find out more about the essential elements through some parent workshops uh, that we've done in the PYP. And we always, if parents can't attend those, we put them in the weekly newsletters after we've had a parent workshop. Another interesting way parents can interact and find out more about the essential elements is through our unit flyers. So each unit, each of the six units, the teachers create a unit flyer. And in that unit flyer, anywhere that is bold and highlighted and underlined, the parents can click on it and find a parent-friendly document that further explains that essential element of the PYP in case they can under so they can understand more.